Hey there YouTube, it's Math Buller with a purchase video here. I purchased some more supplies and I found a company online that actually seemed pretty reputable. I needed to grab another storage crate for my magazines, uh, my signed programs, my signed magazines. So I went ahead and, you know, I found this, which is great. You know, one of those plastic, <laughs> plastic bin holders and from BCW. And I found this company, which I double-checked. It's, you know, is it like a legit company and whatnot? And, yeah, so I went ahead and bought it. And I went ahead and I cut this. And let's see here. I got a pretty good deal, I would say, because some places were just jacking up the prices real badly. And, well, let's see. There you go. Don't want to show the invoice or my packing slip or whatever that is. Here we go. Got some big bubble wrap. The deal was actually pretty good. I was actually very happy with the deal. And it looks like these were taken some care of when they packaged it. Ooh, I'm about to turn this box sideways. I was almost getting ready to do a quote from The Rock about turning it sideways and candy. Uh, uh, never mind. <laughs> wow, that was a throwback thought there. Let's see here. Very good packaging. Uh, UPS bubble mailer here. Yeah, I can only imagine how much this cost to send. It's 16 pounds. You know, I tried to ship something through USPS partway across the country. It was just over a pound. It cost me $10. I mean, over 10 bucks to ship. Crazy, crazy. I wonder what UPS charge to ship a 16 pound box but anyway first thing I got here I needed more magazine boards when I showed you that BCW video with the uh, storage crate the magazine bin I also had stuff like this well I needed more magazine boards I ran out so I got a hundred more of these very very good way I very much am happy with how that has come out on using them to store the magazines, the programs, my signed magazines, my signed programs. So I needed more. I guess that means I went through a hundred. So let's see here. I think I know what this is. Very well packaged. Um, very glad I'm making this video. I want to give Hobbies Depot a shout out here because I'd never heard of the company and the prices were pretty darn reasonable. Now, granted, we're talking a little while ago because. Uh, this was purchased toward the end of September. By the time this video gets shown, it's going to be well past that. Maybe they sold out. Maybe their prices will have gone up. We got the BCW magazine partitions. Get three partitions here to go with the bin that I will show you. I had a video showing my storage, you know, on how I've been doing them. And, uh, well, actually, there's another thing in here that I bought. And I thought, wow, I really feel like I got a good deal here. I mean, it's not a great deal, but these were $6.19 a piece. But if you bought 10 or more, they were $5.79 a piece. And I think 10 was the max. I can't remember. Maybe there were, I think there was a max of some kind. I, I could I could be wrong. So I bought ten of these. So I'm set on the you know your basic top loaders. I got ten packs of top loaders here. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah. They appear to be brand new. I mean at the Mainline Autograph Show, the two dealers there that were selling supplies were uh, trying to get 10 bucks a pack, which is, to me, just insane, but that's, I guess, what the going rate, to some extent, was. Well, I got these for $5.79 each. And it looks like I gotta turn this box upside down to get everything else out, which is fine by me. I actually ran out of space with my storage bin, my uh, BCW storage bin, so I'm glad to be able to get this done here. Oh, the top loaders are keeping it from coming out. This was very, very, very well packaged. Much credit to them. There we go. There's the last pack of top loaders. 
and the magazine bin. Amazon was like ask I think it was like over seventy dollars, which is double what I paid when I got two of these. It looks fine, the boxes look great. So I got that. This comes with one partition, but it's got slots for four of them, so of course I bought the three partitions to go with it. I got the magazine boards. This is what I wanted to get. Oh, and shipping was free because I spent, you know, X amount of dollars. And then I thought, let me just take a look and see what their top loaders cost just to check it out. And sure enough, they had in stock. And the price was reasonable. Now, granted, I mean, I Ultra Pro is what I would go with, but, you know, I guess beggars can't be choosers, but. There we go, everybody. That's a nice little purchase recap from Hobbies Depot. I've got a magazine bin now. I can put my signed programs and signed magazines in. I can start working on that. And I did run out of these as well, just around the same amount of time. So very good. I upload three videos a week. I upload a TTM video on Monday and an autograph or trading card video, such as this. Though this doesn't really fit that description on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So I would appreciate if you would like comment and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you thought about all this in the comments below. Take care, everybody.